Hello everyone, Pally Tim here, and welcome to my very first playthrough of Hollow Knight. You guys have been suggesting this game a lot over the years, but also recently again for some reason. Maybe it's because we're playing kind of a roguelike platformer. I know this game does have some platformy stuff to it. I know there's bosses. I have not seen any of them. I don't know what any of them look like. I've been told that I should expect to uh, be lost a lot and die a lot. So two things. I am excellent at, but the only knowledge I have of this game is booting it up and walking around a little bit. So that was my only save. I'm gonna remove it and we will start from here. In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret for none could tame our savage souls. Yet you, the challenge met. Under palest watch you talked, we change, base instincts were redeemed, a world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. What am I getting flashes of here? I don't think I even watched any of these cutscenes when I booted up the game. Granted, that was like three or four weeks ago when I booted up the game. We have a really fast turnaround time here on this channel. Hey, big guy. So was that us seeing a town off in the distance with some lights? I believe it was. I recognize the sword. Hmm. Okay, so standard attack is X. Anything over, ah, this is why I'm gonna get lost, Alana. A lot of hidden pads, huh? Um. Is there any way I can bounce in between the walls? I'm kind of hitting all of the face buttons on the controller. None of them really seem to be doing anything. I am finding uh, a currency that came out of that rock. I don't have a dash. I don't have a dodge. Looks like right now all I have is my trusty sword at my side. Oh, I like the splash of color when we beat up the enemy. That looks cool. If they fall into the pit, do they die? That enemy had more currency on it. Looks like some fireflies here in this area. Uh, I don't think I can interact with them in any way. They're just here for a little bit of atmosphere, I think. This game does have a, a nice look to it. I've seen some of the merch for this, like when I when conventions were a thing. <laughs> I remember there was several stands that had uh, at PAX East that had a bunch of Hollow Knight merch on it. It always looked cool. Okay, got hit by a stalactite. And what is this here? Inspect. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats at which others can only dream. Collect souls by striking enemies. Once enough souls collected, hold B and you could focus your heal. Uh, oh, so that's the like energy up at the top left. If I kill enough enemies, I can heal with that. Okay. Looks like this room goes up as well as down to the left. Did he take that stalactite for me? You know, stalactites are supposed to hang tight to the ceiling. I don't think these these got the uh, the memo. Looks like no fall damage. I was kind of wondering after I took that big plummet down to the earth if that was going to suck. But it looks like it was totally fine. Is there a tell for when those stalactites are going to fall down? Because another one just fell in front of me there, and I didn't see too much of anything for it. Maybe it's just a little bit of a wiggle up top, but 
That's definitely not where my eyes are drawn. Hey, these are glowy a little bit. Are these important? Uh, oh! So these gave me kind of a health bonus then, right? Kind of like uh, Binding of Isaac and the Soul Hearts. I'm looking around the ceiling. I'm not seeing anything happening. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I was faster if I could have made it over to the other side. Maybe falling on that stuff. So, I am seeing a lot of dust rummaging at the top of the screen when those fall down. And it looks like this is an alternative path back. But I can't get that currency thing on the left, it looks like. Oh, but there is a path down here. If instead we went this way instead of going up. But I don't, I don't think I have any way of going over this gap. So is it like a little Metroidvania where I'm going to unlock abilities that allow me to access different areas later? I assume I'm going to have a dash. Just based on the controls so far. Inspect. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last only civilization, the Eternal Kingdom. The Hollow Nest. Uh, if it's the last remaining kingdom, I probably shouldn't break their front door down, right? They, they probably want to keep that up for some safety. Well, if there's only one kingdom remaining, I guess that kind of explains why the game has felt so... I don't want to say empty, but... Lonely? <laughs> Not a lot of friendly faces, even as we enter the town. Not a lot of friendly faces. And he's literally frowning. Listen. Oh, there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. So in the last remaining civilization, it's only this guy. Our town has fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down to that well, one by one, into the caverns below. It used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin. Yet it still draws folks into the depths. Well, glory... Enlightenment? That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Cool. Many used to come, hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Hollow Nest, it was once called, supposedly the greatest kingdom that there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Now, nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. Feeling tired? That bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before heading below. Plus, I enjoy the company. Not that you seem to be the talkative sort. Uh, it looks like his dialogue's repeating now. We'll sit with them. Seems nice. You know, if I was the last person in town, a little bit of company on a bench would probably help me. Although by sitting down, it looks like it restored my HP back to default. So I kind of uh, moved in the wrong direction there. I had some temporary health bonuses I was kind of holding on to. Uh, as far as I know, can't go in any of these except for this. For all your mapping supplies, we'll be opening soon. Okay. So am I going to venture down into the well and maybe bring back some of the townsfolk? Repopulate the town a little bit? Bring a little bit of joy back here? We are starting to run into some more enemies, although they don't seem too complicated to take down. Can I read this sign? It doesn't look like it. Perhaps the signs lead me back to the well? And that's how I'll find my way out of here? Ooh, I don't like these mosquito things. Do I have a map? I have an inventory. In fact, I don't think I do have a map. Ooh, where'd you come from? Didn't see you fly by. All right, I'll just keep going to the left, up and to the left, and we'll see what we find. Are you a crying little caterpillar? Uh, I don't think I could speak to him. <laughs> He's literally bawling his eyes out. I'm sorry, bud. I don't think I can help you. And this path to the left doesn't lead anywhere. 
I'm sorry. Oh, no. I wanted to help you, I swear. I swears it. All right, let's go down and... Was that platform falling? Not really falling. It wasn't a free fall, but was it descending? I'm kind of uh, hesitant to overcommit to this plummet. Get that bug out of here. I think it looks like a little armadillo. Okay, I'm just going to keep going left. I wonder if um, there are some visual cues that I'm going the right way. Like, I don't know. The Pilgrim's Way, travelers of Holocrest descend through the verdant wilds and fungal grooves of the city at the kingdom's heart. There, all wishes shall be granted and all truths shall be revealed. Yeah, I could see how a place that could grant all of your wishes could uh, lure you in a little. Whoa, hey, sir. Are you shooting where I'm at? Wait, can I knock this back or something? Right here. I don't think so. So do I have to wait for him to shoot? Oh, he really closes up shop quite quick. And I don't think I can knock that back. So uh, I kind of don't think I can go this way. Okay, mister. Well, see you later. Uh, I'm still just kind of making my way down here. Ooh, first hit of damage ever. Hold B to focus. Oh yeah, that's how we get our how we get our health back i'm not super concerned i don't think it was a big rush and just attacking enemies is enough to give me that resource back not even killing them we just have to make contact with our sword to siphon off a little bit of their health bar uh may have been one additional path to the left above me here we've done really good about checking all of the left doors so i want to continue doing that if i can let me climb up here a little bit yeah i see you what do you got for me? I almost feel like we should be underneath that little armadillo. I feel like I'm going to call everything here an armadillo. Uh, so it looks like we do have a downward attack while we're jumping, so... We can deal some damage to these guys. Similar to Rogue Legacy. The other game we're playing in the mornings on this channel. Okay, if I just smash this, I don't know what that did for me. Uh, maybe healing essence is what it restored? And to my knowledge, I have... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Okay, so... That's difficult. Do I have to sit in the middle? That's very difficult. Let me siphon some life back. Get back up to full. Oh, right into the side there. Luckily, it saved my position at the top. Okay, so we got some platforming we can do. I'm not used to the downward attacks. I usually just hit left bumper for this. I wonder if I can remap that. I uh, don't think I can. All right, looking down. Hold down to look down. Good. If that control was something weird, I'd be a little freaked out. And we have landed on the bottom floor. You know what this means? There was a whole area at the start of the game I could have explored with downward attacks on top of those spikes. Now I may never know. Back up at the top. You don't give me anything, right, little bud? That looks like it's going to break. Indeed, it does. But we find some resources on the side. So, I don't really know what I'm looking for yet. Oh, yeah, that filled up my goop meter real good. Thank you. Let's see if I can bring some more goop with me. That looks like it's it. I, I don't know if those things are significant. I don't... Um, did I already go this way? No, the grass hasn't been cut yet. Kind of looks like a big area. Woo! Hey! A lot of projectiles coming my way, and that is some fast movement. What the fuck? That's a lot of fast movement. So I'm going to have to try to... <laughs> I'm going to have to try to find time to heal during all of this too, huh? I cannot keep up with that. Uh, hey! I, uh, woke up on this bench. Okay. It seems my decanter of energy up at the top left is now cracked. Um, um, maybe that's just a visual to show there's nothing in it. 
What happens if we just go to the right instead of going down the well? We can inspect this. Stone door with a simple lock. Well, I don't have a simple key, so I don't think we can open a simple lock. I fell all the way to the bottom this time. Maybe I didn't see this opening before, but there was someone humming in here now. Oh, uh, hello. Hmm, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Uh, oh, did I lose all my money when I died, bro? You don't have enough geo? I understand. I'd give you the map as a gift, but I don't think my wife would be very happy if I did. All our food is made of geo, they say. Well, thanks, mister. But how do I get back to that spider where I was at before? Oh no, it already happened. I'm literally already lost. Well, I just killed a bunch of enemies in this room. Uh, that should give me enough to buy the map. It was 30, right? Uh, yep. Hello again. Still winding your way through these beautiful highways. Just imagine how they must have looked during the kingdom's height. Thick with traffic and bustling with life. I wish I could have seen it. Oh, and I suppose I should ask, are you interested in buying a copy of a map for this area? Yes. Uh, left bumper to view the map of your current area. View a detailed map of Hollow Nest in the map pane of the inventory. <laughs> map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you're not uh, the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Zelda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth. Selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. So that's the shop we saw in town, right? That's going to be opening up. Let's take a look at the map here. Uh, so Dirt Mouth is above us. We are straight down. So just because I've been somewhere doesn't mean it'll show up on the map, right? Because this room at the bottom is the room that he was in. 100%. So, hmm. So this room to the right isn't mapped by him? Jeez, did we come in here before? How did I get so lost so fast? I usually have an impeccable sense of direction. Oh, we have a new enemy coming in here with his arms raised. So yeah, this isn't mapped. If I can drop down and go to the right... Wait, there's a caterpillar up there. Wait, are you why the dad caterpillar was crying? I don't think I'm able to reach him. I, I don't have a dash. That feels kind of bad. I bet you that's why that dad caterpillar was crying. And now I believe we still don't know where we are really. Well, this, this guy's new and he's tall. Jumps a lot, huh? Trying to trying to stop me. And then this beetle charged at me with his horn. 
It's okay, we were able to heal. So I think because I died, I lost a the max at which I can gather this energy for healing. It seems like the top of the decanter is broken. That wasn't too bad. Spikes here. Oh yeah, I went through a big spike room. Where was that? How did I already forget what I did? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I think we are in this room on the right. So if we go down. Oh, this is locked up tight. Okay. So the grass regrows in areas like this. Making it even more difficult to realize if you've been in an area before. And it looks like enemies respawn as well. And while there are architectural differences, everything kind of just being the same color, I could see how that could make this pretty hard. Okay, this is where I was. Much easier this time. And if I find that terrible spider thing again, is it, uh, oof. Is it going to have some of that decanter? Do I have to pick that back up? Is my money dropped on the ground? I think that's why I'm really exploring down here. I want to see what the consequences of death are. Oh yeah, this is the room. Hey, hey, that's me. Oh, so I have to fight my spirit. I got all of my money back. I don't think I could do this fight, bro. I really, I really don't. Um, shit. How much damage did I do to this thing? Here we go. It doesn't have a health bar. Oh, it's literally just running me over now. Out of the way! That's two hops. I can heal. That's a lot of goop. I can't dodge that much goop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Not ready for this at all, boys. Not ready for this one at all. Although we do have a lot of healing now. Hold on. And we dodged that somehow. Okay, he's changing sides, though, which is scary. If he's staying there, I think I dodge most of that. We have a full heal again. Almost safe in the corner as well. I think he's about to jump though. Oh my God. Wait, can I attack up to remove that? That was lucky. Heal, 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 heal. He's gonna jump one more time. Now we just deal damage. Oh, he slaps me if I'm too close to his side as well. Jesus, dude. <laughs> I didn't have enough of the energy to heal. And now we find ourselves back up top. Okay, lady, let's go in the shop. Hey, I talked to your husband. <sighs> Bapanada. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise. He's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps from the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I have not much interest in retail myself. Now let's see what I have here to sell. A wayward compass for 220 geo. A quill, a bench pen, a cocoon pen, all kinds of stuff in here. All right, let me get my money back. Hey, other me. Oh, that's almost enough. So if enemies respawn every time I enter an area and this guy gives me two geo every time I kill him, this, um, this room in particular seems like a pretty efficient place to farm. Now, I typically like gathering mass amounts of wealth in games. It's what drives me to play MMOs. I like farming. I like grinding. I kind of feel like I'm just going to buy all the items in that girl's shop. I mean, there's probably like 30 enemies in this room, at least, that all respawn. That's 60 gold theory, theory crafting per area, even if I skip the flyers. Uh, we only need four more to buy the compass. How do I get up to the top? 
Nice. Oh, I need uh, one more Geo, please. I hope that's what these were called. <laughs> I'm not just saying that for no reason. So if that's the elevator room on the left. Oh, I like how you can actually see our character reading the map behind the map. I was so fixated on what I was looking at. I didn't even notice that. And then we just climbed the chain up to get back up to the top. Uh, where's that shop? Right over here. Okay. So I, I can at least say I made some progress today, I guess. I don't know how I, I feel yet. Highly recommended if you're having trouble finding your way in the maze of the ruins below us. Try this charm. It will pinpoint your location on the map. Incredibly helpful for finding your bearings in unfamiliar locations. I would like to purchase that. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. To equip charms, open charms menu while resting at a bench. Well, it just so happens I know where a bench is. Right outside the shop, wouldn't you know. So if I'm resting here, I press this button and equip the charm. You can only do that while you're resting. So I'm getting the impression there's going to be a lot more charms. What do the other items in her shop do? Ah, <sighs> Uh, you'll need this if you want to update your map with new areas as you explore. But would that be another charm? So we choose to either know where we are or expand the map? A bench pen. These pens will mark benches and other reset spots on your map. Useful if you're exhausted and just need to find somewhere to sit. A cocoon pen. So these are... A quill is independent. These are all called pens. Use these pens to mark shopkeepers or any other interesting bugs you find on your travels. Is this going to be something that I put on the map? Okay, 120, 220, 320, 420, 520, 620, 720. I will see you guys next time with 719 more Geo. You mark my words. It's a Saturday. I have nothing better to do. Uh, don't know how I feel about this yet. I don't want any spoilers down in the comments, okay? Try to restrain yourselves. However, if you have some just generic tips, I don't hate reading those. Uh, take care, everybody. I'll see you again soon.